Oh, one last thing I forgot to mention. Moisture is very critical for the roaches too. It helps them shed. How do I handle moisture? Well, you probably wonder because I don't use the blue stuff, the cricket gel. What I do do is use the veg fruits and vegetables like I was talking about. The fruits and vegetables provide enough moisture which in terms go throughout the entire enclosure to make it so they are able to shed properly. Right, you try to use everything naturally. And like I was talking about earlier, this is the Nature Zone Total Bites for crickets. It is total solution, total nutrition. What you need for crickets, well, what you need for dewy roaches, what a lot of people make a mistake is, is they just try to give them the stuff that crickets eat for gut load. That stuff is only for, like, short periods of time before you feed them to your, to your leopard gecko or whatever it is. But this stuff is made, well, what I make for my roaches, and this stuff is for total health and nutrition for your overall well-being of the roaches and your feeder insects. As for what it has inside of it, it has like water, soap, protein, keratin, locusts, bean gum, pretty much stuff. Hmm. A lot of sites have a good mumble jumble if you ask me. But I haven't had no problems with it. And the roaches seem to like it. And when, when my leopard gecko was aided, I didn't have to worry because it's made from all natural stuff. So, yeah. Like I said, most people... Oh, no wonder what was ever read in the Spanish, Spanish version. Okay, here it is. Well, there, but whatever. Like I said, what you need for roaches is not just gut loading. You want nutrition, vitamins and minerals and stuff. You don't want a whole bunch of protein and stuff because if you give too much protein to your leopard, your um, dubia roaches, they're going to get gout. And various other health problems, which in turn you're gonna to feed to your rope to your um, animals, which in turn will get them sick. I recommend, highly recommend not. Uh, I discourage people from using dog food while feeding or cat food or anything that has a lot of protein, like animal protein, for dubby roach. I highly discourage that. I highly, I recommend you get like stuff like cereal, flax seeds, chia seeds. Stuff like that, whole grain stuff, oatmeal, stuff like that, grind it together to make your own food. It's very enjoyable, and, well, as you can tell by that from earlier, <laughs> they I just fed them earlier this morning already, they gone through the food pretty quick, quickly. This also seems to be a growth for hormone on the side of there, I don't know. I put some bug burgers in there that I mixed up. So, this stuff here is a little expensive, but I would totally recommend it. This, Big thing is lasting me for at least for the last six months. Just give them a little bit and last. A little bit goes a long way. I gotta say that a little bit goes a long way. So, all right, guys. This time, this is the interview. All right, guys. Peace.